we'd all hoped that the circuses around Manchester United and Manchester United players had finished since the arrival of Eric Ten Hag. And Cristiano Ronaldo has dragged us into the biggest one of all. After putting in a transfer request this summer, of course, he was uh, left out of the preseason tour for personal family reasons. Eric Ten Hag empathised with him and he listened to him. Of course, he did as a manager. And then on Sunday, when Ronaldo left Old Trafford before full time against Rayo Vallecano, it caused a bit of a reaction. I did a video on it and I, I questioned whether I was correct to do it or not. I normally don't jump the gun. I'm normally somebody who stays quite reserved, waits until the facts present themselves. But I felt for a man who's been uh, such a disciplinarian so far, that the idea that he would let Ronaldo go before full time did not make any sense. And today, an interview has been released with Eric Ten Hag from Via Play in Holland, where he runs through and was asked directly about this Ronaldo situation. And the translations have all come out now, multiplied, uh, verified by different sources. And this is what Fabrizio Romano has put it as he said, Eric Ten Hag was asked about Ronaldo and other Man United players leaving early. It's not just Ronaldo here, it's other players too. He said, I do not accept this. I think this is unacceptable for everybody. We are a team and you have to stay until the end. Just in case this is a lost in translation thing, I took a look around and looked for more translations. Ronaldo left at halftime during the Rayo Vallecano game. There were more who did this and you accepted it? Absolutely not. This is unacceptable. I tell them this is unacceptable. We are a team. We are a squad. You have to stay till the end. Another one here, Elko Bourne, Ten Hag was asked, and he said it's unacceptable for anyone to leave a match early. I tell them we are a team, and you are expected to stay until the end. I got a lot of pelters, a lot of pelters for suggesting the idea that Ronaldo just, nah man, you shouldn't have left. There's no way that Eric Ten Hag would have confirmed that. And now it's coming out that he did not condone Ronaldo leaving. Now, if we look at the full translation here, this is what the conversation said. In the beginning of the conversation, we emphasized your punctuality and you endeared your way of working and indeed working on the team process. Uh, but he comes in when he wants and he leaves again when he wants. How do you deal with that? And he said, hold on. He was missing because of personal circumstances. So that's not really how it happened that he's talking about the preseason tour. But against Raya Vallecano, he went home after half time. There were many more who did that. So you condoned it. And he said, certainly not. It's unacceptable for everybody. So what do you do? I tell them it's unacceptable that we are a team that you have to stay until the end as a team. And I'm not fucking happy about this. I swear to God, I take no pleasure in seeing what is going on in the circus around. I don't want my club to be dragged into any more circuses. I really don't want my joke. I don't want my club to be a joke anymore. Ronaldo is doing that because Ronaldo is doing what he wants. And so many people this week, I feel, have exposed themselves as Cristiano Ronaldo fans first and Manchester United fans second by trying to condone and say, look, there was people saying, oh, no, Ronaldo was allowed to leave early to start recovery. I'm like, what are you talking about? 45 minutes early for an ice bath. Do you know how mad that sounds? Oh, yeah, he let everybody else go. And this is a man, by the way, and this is what I mean. It did not make any sense when you looked at it logically and you understood the context of what Ten Hag's been doing this summer. Because, of course, on the preseason tour, this is from The Athletic, part of Ten Hag's strategy to management is strict discipline. And when players err, the consequences are significant. During the 18-day trip, one player was twice late for team meetings. Ten Hag had been planning to use him in a game, but dropped him by way of punishment. A reminder to everyone in the squad that punctuality is important. And then all of a sudden, people started believing that he would just allow Ronaldo and allow all these other players. Delo left early, I believe. Bruno left early. Of course, Ronaldo was the only one, I believe, of all the players that was inside the match day squad. But still, Ten Hag didn't want the image of anybody leaving early. You arrive as a team, you leave as a team. And this is a man, of course, here who has banned the use of mobile phones at a dinner table in a bid to encourage teammates to talk to each other and mix freely. And people, as I say, Gave me absolute pelters for doing that video because they thought I jumped the gun early because ah club sources confirmed that they were allowed to leave. That was just all bollocks. Complete and utter fabrication. And now that we've heard it from the man himself, Eric Ten Hag, he didn't want anybody to leave. He didn't condone, I'm not just talking about Ronaldo here, talking about any player that left early there, he's going to discipline them. And as I said, it was so obvious that Ronaldo didn't have permission to leave 
because this is a manager, as I said, who's who kicked a player out of the squad for being late twice, who's banned phones from being used at lunchtimes, is asking everybody to eat lunch together. Eric Ten Hag is trying to instill a level of discipline in a set of players who act like spoiled kids in a nursery soft play. I want to go on that slide. I want to go in there. I want to do whatever I want, whenever I want to do it, however many times I want to do it, and I don't care what adults tell me, I'm still going to do it. That's what the players at United have been doing for so long, and it's that sort of... Uh, inf it's that sort of mentality which has infected every element of the dressing room. But Ten Hag has been trying to change that, which is why, for me, it made no sense, the logic, that he would just allow... Given that Ronaldo, of course, missed five days of training before the preseason tour, missed the whole preseason tour because of family reasons, the idea that he would then just let Ronaldo leave before full time, we... we we all can understand what sort of impact that would have on the other players. Because what the fuck is Ronaldo being allowed to leave? He's asking me to stay behind. It's it's one for all and all for none. It's a, it's a, it's a musketeer policy, if you want to call it that. And I just, I, honestly, I'm really, really happy that Ten Hag has come out and said that because it just reaffirms what he's trying to do with everybody, not just Cristiano Ronaldo. He is trying to bring a new level of discipline into these players. It doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are, how many Ballon d'Ors you've won, or whether or not you've made your first team debut at Manchester United. It's a blanket rule for everybody that brings a level of equality back into a dressing room which has been split by egos, split by personalities, and Eric Ten Hag is doing his best to make sure he gets that under control, which is why this pissed me off. Because it might have suited Ronaldo to do that. But it did not suit Manchester United. It did not suit Eric Ten Hag. And it did not help Eric Ten Hag in what he is doing. And I tell you what, I believe in him. And I believe in what Eric Ten Hag's doing. We've been an absolute calamity of a football club for so long. And a joke of a football club. And players have done what they wanted for years. And they've dragged us downwards. And got rid of plenty of managers in the meantime. So Ronaldo, what he's doing here, he's doing what he wants. Because... That's what he's done his whole career. And it's what's made Ronaldo one of the greatest. I have been so lucky to have watched Ronaldo play in a Manchester United shirt. Not once, but twice. But I won't condone this. And neither will Eric Ten Hag. And I take no pleasure. I've just, for the life of anybody who thinks I does, you're absolutely you're off your rocker. I don't want to be talking about this. But I will be pushing it because I think it's really important. Yeah, as I said, this last week, I found it... I understand that there's, uh, it's part of a, a modern day football culture that, that players themselves have their own collective fan bases as well as clubs. But it's been really exposed this week. As I said, I, the, uh, Eric Ten Hag has given an interview there to Dutch television. It's been reported by Fabrizio Romano. Everywhere is using the same quotes. And it's saying this, he goes, he did not condone it. Absolutely not. This is unacceptable. I tell them this. It's unacceptable. We are a team and a squad and you have to stay until the end because that's what you do. He's trying to build that mentality. So what Ronaldo doing there, all the players who left there, you're undermining the manager. It's not just Ronaldo at fault here. It's everybody collectively. But Ronaldo is the centerpiece because of everything else that is going on with Ronaldo. Delo's not trying to force a move away. Bruno's not trying to force a move away. Ronaldo is trying to force a move away, which is why the story is so much more significant around him leaving a game before full time compared to other people. And let's not try, that's no agenda. That's just the reality and the truth of things. When a situation is unfolding, like Ronaldo trying to force his way out of the club, him doing things like this has a direct impact on that and a bigger impact than other players doing it. And yeah, given what he's doing with discipline, Given what he's doing with team bonding and trying to change this United squad and this United team. I'm really surprised that any of you really thought that he'd be cool with Cristiano Ronaldo just dotting off before the end of the game. Because it didn't make any sense to me. And that's why I sort of, in the end, at the end of the day, I felt confident enough to do that video. And now that these are coming out, these quotes, sort of proving the point. I hope... I don't think that there's going to be a good solution to the end of this because I don't think anybody wants Ronaldo. I think Ronaldo will be at the club and therefore Ronaldo's really starting off on a back foot. And he, we're going to have a player at the club if he stays who doesn't want to be here.
who's now on demand the manager straight away and will have to prove himself. Look, he's 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 known as the king of the, the, the king of professionality in terms of in terms of physically keeping himself in tune. Absolutely. But when it comes to Ronaldo getting what he wants and when he doesn't get what he wants, this is not the first time he's done it. Not the first time he's done it at Manchester United, nor anywhere else because Ronaldo wants what is best for Ronaldo.